So this is the desk we just picked up from James. He gave it to us for free. It's in a bit of a rough shape, but we're gonna see what we can do with it. I'm gonna rip all the, it's a shame actually, because the leather is quite cool, but we're gonna have to rip it off, see what we can do with the top. And then we're gonna paint all the, no, we're not, we're gonna leave all the drawers. We're gonna strip them, try and get natural wood come through and then uh, yeah, paint the rest of it. But yeah, let's see how we get on with this one. Okay. So we're going to start by removing the leather from the top. I'm just going to use a scraper, scrape it all off, and then hopefully most of it will come off easily. And then if not, I will get um, like a Stanley blade or something. But yeah, let's see how we get on. Right, that was hard work. I haven't got all of it off. Um, I've got the majority of it off, but there's still a lot around the edges. That was probably where most of the adhesive was. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna clean the top and then I'm gonna get some warm water, put it all around the edges and try and scrape it off. I did a bit of research and it said warm water helps soften the leather and soften the adhesive. So we'll give that a try. Okay guys, so that's all the leather off. Um, the technique with the water actually worked so well. Literally, I put it on within a minute, started scraping and it came off so easily. So that's all off. We're gonna give it a quick clean, let it dry, then we're gonna rub it down and see how it looks. Also, if, I, if you were doing this, wear gloves because my hands are absolutely fogging and they're really stained. Should put gloves on. Oh well. So this is how the desk looks after we have cleaned it everything's off it so we're gonna just wait for it to dry now and then we're gonna rub it down there's loads of holes in it and if you can see so it's not in great condition so we're gonna have to fill it and paint it which is a shame but it is what it is okay so we're going to be using a uh, polycell paint stripper for the drawers hopefully we'll only need one coat but we'll see when you're using this Wear a, wear a mask and open a window. I don't have a mask, so I'm not gonna buffer, but we've opened windows. You shouldn't really be doing this in the house, but we're gonna do it anyway. But you should definitely do it outside or, what, like I said, wear a mask. This will need a thick coat, thick layer of stripper, and probably need about 40 minutes to an hour time to kind of penetrate, and then you can scrape it off. We couldn't get one handle off. It's actually nailed in. The rest was screwed in, but this one was nailed in, so I'm gonna have to leave it on and work around it. One thing as well is these drawers have got loads of like dents and holes and everything in, but we're actually gonna leave them like that. We quite like the look of it. It's quite an old desk, so we wanna leave a little bit of character. We're just gonna kind of freshen it up. What we did as well is we gave the drawers a quick sand down. We did a bit of research and apparently when you can give them a quick sand down before you strip them, the stripper penetrates a bit better. So we will see. Like, can you see the drawers, how bad they are? But we like that, it's a bit of character, it's all good. Let's just hope the buyer likes that as well. Right, that's them all done. We're gonna leave them for about 40 minutes, half an hour, maybe an hour, I don't know. We'll see, see how they're looking and then we're gonna strip them. So yeah, we'll uh, catch you in a bit. Okay, so the stripper has been on for about 40 minutes. So we're gonna give it a strip now, with, just with a scraper. Then we'll use some steel wool and sandpaper to see what it looks like afterwards. So yeah, there you go. Making life hard for myself doing it this way, but I'm just gonna put it on the floor, I don't care. I'll get the vacuum out after and give it a good clean. Looks pretty good, so we're gonna clean it now. Well, I'll wait until I've done all them, then we'll clean them all um, with um, some soapy water, maybe some sugar soap, give them a rub down. Yeah. First one done. Chantal's just there, giving them a rub down with the steel wool. Okay, so that's all the drawers done now, all the fronts, all the tops. We've stripped them, 
we have rubbed them down with steel wool. So what we're going to do is we're going to just let them dry for a bit. Then we're going to sand them all down and hopefully they will turn out really nice. And I know I keep saying it and people are going to think we're stupid for stripping stuff in the house, but all the windows are open. We've got dust sheets down and stuff like that. We've got a vacuum to vacuum all the debris and stuff up. So it's, it's actually not too bad. Okay, so the drawers are pretty much dry now. So Chantal's going to give them a quick sand down and then we are going to wax them. Okay, so we just um, put the top of the desk to one side. We've given this a quick clean and I'm just, there's loads of holes everywhere and stuff and things. So I'm going to fill it as best as possible. We're not too bothered about getting it perfect because it's an old desk and we quite like it looking quite old. So yeah, we're just going to fill some holes and then all the, the worst of it. And we're just using like top poly filler. Okay, so everything's filled now. We're gonna let that dry, then we're gonna sand it all down, then we can prime and paint. Okay, so the filler is all dry, so we're gonna rub it all down. We're gonna scuff sand everything as well, so let's go. Right, so I am using Frenchy Furniture Wax. I'm gonna wax all the front of the drawers. Chantal's using Zinza Primer, so shellac base. We'll list all the products that we're using in the description. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna crack on and um, let's go. Oh, and also, when you're waxing the stuff, I've used a brush or a lint-free cloth. We don't actually have either because we've run out. <laughs> so we're just using a different cloth, but it works just as well. We, we used one last time and it was fine. When you're putting your wax on as well, you just want like, put a thin layer on and then leave it for a little while and then buff it off. I've got to say as well, the wax, what it does, is it protects the wood. We're gonna give it probably, I don't know, two to three coats. We'll see how it turns out, but yeah, normally two to three. And we buff it in between coats as well. Well, I've done all the drawers first coat, so I'm gonna leave them for a little bit, then I'll buff them. You still painting? <laughs> oh, come on, get it done. Quick, you want it done right? Either or. Right, so wax these 40 minutes ago. I'm gonna give them a quick buff now and then see how they look. There's actually so many imperfections in these drawers which I actually really like. There's loads of like big like scratches and like they're all different colors and stuff, but I think it looks quite cool to be fair. Right, so that's all the drawers done. We might do another coat. What we'll do is we'll wait until like everything is done. We'll put them back and see how they look. Right, so while these are drying, Chantal's just finished them, I'm gonna start filling all the holes in the top of the desk. There's quite a few, so bear with me and we'll catch you in a bit. Okay, so I filled the majority of the holes. It's so hard to see at the minute, but what we'll do is we'll rub them all down, we'll give them a coat of paint, but we're gonna prime it first, and then give it a coat of paint, and then I'll have to go over again and fill all the holes I've missed. Okay, so I've just rubbed them down. I'm gonna put the first coat on now. We're using Frenchie Horn Blower. It's just leftover paint we've got, so we just can't kind of wanna get rid of it. first two coats yesterday so I'm going to start with the third coat. It's looking all right, it's probably going to need two more coats hopefully so we're going to crack on with that now. Okay guys so I'm going to start priming around the sides of the top of the desk. We have got a plan for the top so we're going to leave that. We're just going to do the sides, prime and then we're going to give it its first coat of paint so let's go. Oh, by the way, I've also sanded all this down and filled a few holes. Okay guys, that's the primer done. I'm gonna wait an hour and then give it its first coat. Okay, the primer's been drying for about an hour now. So I'm just gonna give it a quick rub down with 220 grit sandpaper, then we'll get the first coat on. Okay, so I've just given it a quick vacuum. It's nice and clean now. So we're gonna give it its first coat off the horn blower. Okay, so 
first coat on off the blue. Um, obviously it doesn't look too pretty now, but the first coat never does. Give it an hour or two and then we'll crack them off the second coat. Okay, so that is five coats now on the top of the desk. We managed to get away with it actually. Look at the paint. Literally nothing left. So we don't have to buy a new one, which is good. The desk looking pretty good as well. So we're gonna let that dry. We're gonna do the top and then it's time for polyvinyl. Right, well guys, all the painting is done now, so it's time for the top coat, and we're using, as normal, the polyvine varnish. We're gonna do probably like two coats. Um, Dean put the desk together, it looks really nice. All we have to do is take care of the top, and then we're all ready to go. the first coat done. This paint that we use in the warm blow already has a built-in primer on water base and it also has a sealer but we always prefer to give it this extra little protection. Okay guys so we were going to originally paint the top then we got given some like vinyl flooring which we were going to do but it was too thick so we got some free wallpaper like wood effect wallpaper and we're going to put that on it so we're going to put mod podge top of the desk we're going to lay the wallpaper down straight out we'll use a card and then we'll hopefully be able to cut it to size see what happens it might not go to plan <laughs> we've uh, messed this up we've messed up cutting the wallpaper twice already <laughs> so yeah we're going to crack on now and let's see how it goes mm. all right guys so we've cleaned the top uh, we're going to use Mod Podge and yeah, let's hope for the best. Okay guys, so yeah, wallpaper's down, we just need to cut it now, but the trick is getting a straight line. When we're doing the polyvinyl. This is another thing that we haven't tried before, and we always think like, ah, oh, easy fix, but it took us about 30 minutes to get it done. Yeah. <laughs> Just lining it up is the hard thing. And yeah, I know. Making sure there's no bubbles in it or anything like that. We don't have like, level. we don't have like a like a straight anything with a straight edge on, so like a ruler mm -hmm. level or something. So we actually need to get something. So we have to improvise with a piece of vinyl flooring, but it worked. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll let that dry and then we'll give it a polyvinyl a bit. Okay guys, so the wallpaper has been on overnight, just left it overnight to dry. Turned out pretty good, there's no like corners coming up, it's, it's down solid. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put polyvinyl on top as a protective coat, probably do like two to three coats of this. So let's get cracking. Okay. So that's the first coat done. Looks like it's all covered. I'm gonna leave that now for about an hour. Then I'll come back and do another coat. Okay guys, so here are the end results. We hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of our new videos. And as always, we'll, we'll catch, catch you on, on the flip side. side.